Scriptural verses about affirmation of faith and answered prayer, Genesis chapter 18 verse 14a says is anything too hard for the Lord? Numbers chapter 23 verse 19 says God is not a man, that he should lie, nor a son of man, that he should repent, has he said, and will he not do, or has he spoken, and will he not make it good? Psalms chapter 34 verse 8 says taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Psalms chapter 34 verse 15 says the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. Psalms chapter 34 verse 17 to verse 18 says the righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles, the Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Psalm chapter 37 verse 4 says delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Psalms chapter 56 verse 3 says whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to verse 6 says trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run to it and are safe. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 says the tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 1 says the wicked man flees though no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 17 says Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm, there is nothing too hard for you. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27 says Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh, is there anything too hard for me? Matthew chapter 13 verse 58 says Now he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Matthew chapter 19 verse 26 says But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Mark chapter 9 verse 23 says If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for him who believes. Mark chapter 11 verse 22 says and Jesus answering saith unto them, have faith in God. Mark chapter 11 verse 23 says for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Mark chapter 11 verse 24 says Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Luke chapter 18 verse 27 says And he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. John chapter 14 verse 1 says Don't let your hearts be troubled, trust in God, and trust also in me. John chapter 14 verse 14 says if you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. John chapter 16 verse 24 says until now you have not asked for anything in my name, ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. John chapter 20 verse 29 says Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed, blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Romans chapter 1 verse 17 says for in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Romans chapter 10 verse 8 says but what does it say, the word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart that is, the word of faith which we preach. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says so then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Romans chapter 12 verse 3 says for by the grace given me I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment, in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. Romans chapter 12 verse 12 says be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 says for we walk by faith, not by sight. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 12 says fight the good fight of the faith, 
take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Philemon chapter 1 verse 6 says that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2 says for indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them, but the word which they heard did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 says that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23 says let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says but without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 says let your conduct be without covetousness, be content with such things as you have, for he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. James chapter 1 verse 3 says because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. James chapter 1 verse 6 to verse 7 says but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. James chapter 2 verse 26 says for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. 1 John chapter 5 verse 14 says now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Jude chapter 1 verse 3 says urge you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to the saints. Revelation chapter 8 verse 4 says and the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before God out of the angel's hand.